Hey, Grumpy Goblin here. Welcome back. We're going to hop on into Prison 4. Welcome uh, to episode number 4, I think it is, of the Noob's Guide to Titan MC Prisons. Alright, here we are. Ooh, I owe quite a bit of rent, and I'm down to 27 bucks. So uh, we're going to rectify that in this episode, I hope. Um, I'm only down to $27, so that means I have been buying stuff from people. Let's see what I've got. Uh, okay, two stacks plus eight of iron ingots, and uh, two stacks plus eight of of iron ore. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take that iron ore out. And uh, I've got four furnaces, so I'm going to split these up evenly among four. And the way I do that again is you just click and hold, and left click and hold, and swipe over four spaces, and it evenly divides. Do that again; it will evenly divide. Unless you do something stupid like that. There you go. All right, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28. We're just click and hold, swipe over four, let go. And click and hold, let go. All right, so we evenly divided that up into four stacks of 34. So let's take out what's in there. And, uh, oh, I need coal. I have coal. Uh-oh. I got one piece of coal in there, one piece of coal in there, and one piece of coal in there. Uh, let's go get some coal. I don't have a pick. Um, let's take eight pieces of iron ingots. Let's head to spawn. Gonna sell a little bit. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Should have grabbed some steaks. I got some steaks in there. I might do slash feed since I am a donor. Uh, let's go ahead and sell these ingots. Get a little bit of money and then come over here and buy a pick. And then we'll head to the mines. Someone's fishing. Mines are, of course, this way. Let's grab some coal so that we can cook up the, the iron uh, ore that I bought from people. Rank up. I need 40,000. I do. I would like to rank up in this episode. I think it's possible. Um, as I've said in the, in the comments here, um, I've said in the comments here on YouTube that, um, I am planning on, oh, he just, he just threw a pick down and I just caught it. Um, I'm going to do slash feed here since I am a donor. I don't want to run back and get some steaks. Um, I keep, I keep interrupting my own thoughts. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, as I said in the comments here, um, I'm not going to use the donor mines um, until I'm kind of established. Um, but I might, I might go ahead and use the donor mines in cases of where I need to get some uh, money for, like, leveraging myself for purchases. Because you know, with just a few thousand dollars, you know, I really can't do a whole lot. Whoops, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to fall on your head. Um, or take your torch. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's get some coal here. Let's get some coal. So, um, I think I might head over to the wise guy mine here in a little bit, and uh, just get some diamonds so that I can uh, sell to some people in the uh, in the cells to kind of just you know give myself some purchasing power. Um, Tell you what, I won't. I won't use the wise guy mine. I will go to the hustler mine because that's the the least expensive of the donator mines. I'm going to do that to get some money here today. It's got like uh, lapis and redstone in it, I believe. And um, let's see. I need to do my voting today. I still have not done my voting yet today to get my hundred free tickets for for voting. Just get a few more pieces of coal here. I'd like to get uh, like 16 pieces of coal. I've got 12, 13, uh, I thought I saw one above me, yep, 14, 15 pieces of coal. Get one more back here somewhere. 
there's one more. All right, 16 pieces of coal. Let's head out of the mine. And we'll go sell off. Uh, oh, that's the, that's the light from a tour. There we go. There, I knew the exit was around here somewhere. Else. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and drop down here. Oof. Um, and then we're going to start doing some missions. This guy, what does he want? This is a uh, black lung wants an iron pickaxe, right? Yeah, one iron pickaxe, and you get a thousand bucks. Gonna sell off some cobblestone. Gonna sell some cobblestone. Can't sell cobblestone if people keep walking in front of you. All right, uh, I think that's all I got worth selling. Uh, oh, I picked up five pieces of iron or five iron ore while I was in there. Let's head back to the to the cell. Uh, got two days left. All right, let's go ahead and load this up. Let's split the coal up evenly among four coal. Iron ore, take out what's there. Coal, iron ore, take out what's there. Coal, iron ore, take out what's there. Coal, iron ore, take out what's there. All right, so those are all going to be churning for a while. Uh, there's my iron ingots. Got my iron ore churning. Um, I always call it churning. I know it's called smelting. I always call it churning for some reason. All right, let's head over... Let's go ahead and go to the Hustler Mind. Um, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and get the Hustler Kit so that I can use the... Um, there's, the there's the Wise Guy uh, Kit. I claimed uh, the Wise Guy Kit because I think I'm going to sell these. See, they're, un they're all unused. I think I'm going to sell those, maybe. Um, let's see here. Kit. Hustler. So the Hustler Kit gives you a uh, Unbreaking One Helmet. Iron helmet, unbreaking one, chest plate, leggings, and um, boots. And it also gives you just regular pick and axe. So you don't get anything real special uh, with the Hustler. Let's toss those out there. Uh, let's throw those in there. I don't want to use the armor and stuff. Um, I'll keep the stakes on me. Throw the gold in there. Um, and we'll take the pickaxe. Oops, I meant to take the pickaxe and throw that in there. All right, let's go to the Hustler Mine. Hustler Mine's pretty cool. Um, it's not uh, overpowered. It's got gold, lapis, and redstone in it. And I just walked over someone's trash and picked it up by accident. Let's get rid of all that junk again and walk around it this time. Um, here's the prices over here that you can sell things for. All right, so you got your lapis at 1,024 a stack, which is not, not too bad. Redstone is 512 a stack. And your gold, 6,400 a stack or 100 an ingot. Your stained clay, of course, is just your filler, your filler stuff here in the mine. Uh, let's run over here. I'd like to level up. Let's see how long I can take to level up. Um... So lapis pays more than redstone. So generally, um, see lapis, go for it. Um, got eight, and because you get more than one piece of lapis per per block when you break it, you know it it adds up pretty quick. I got eight, and I think I broke two so far. And there are diamonds. There are a few diamonds here in the hustler mine. I just got one. Yippee, 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 Um, get some redstone. Oh, there's another diamond. Not bad, not bad. I can, uh, there's some shops in the, uh, there's some cells uh, out in the prison that I have found that are buying diamonds for 300 a piece. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, not quite as good as prices, like I've said, on this server as I can, as I've, have established in prison number three um, everything seems to be a little bit cheaper here which means people that are going to the commissary shops are making a little bit more 
Um, but there's definitely room, I think, for the prices to be, you know, for people to pay a little bit more so that they can, you know, I, I just need to start, you know, once I get some some cash build up, um, I'm going to be able to start, you know, uh, advertising in the chat that I'm buying diamonds for 319 a pop or 315 a pop. And um, I think I would get a lot of traffic to my shop just on just on my diamond prices alone. Um, because it's there's like I found one shop, I think, uh, that actually had money enough to actually buy anything from me that was buying diamonds for more than 250 per diamond and you know that's that's really really low uh you know each diamond sells for 376 or something like that in the in the c3 commissary so there's room to to pay more for people and still make a nice little profit per diamond uh, so that's what i plan on doing when i get a little bit more money built up um yeah you make less per you make less per diamond when you when you resell at the commissary but you, you buy more diamonds you, so it's it's kind of a quantity thing over over profit you make more because you're buying more and reselling more as soon as i get a full stack of uh, lapis i'm going to head out to the sign and sell them Got I've got a stack and a half of uh, redstone, which is nice. Kind of wish we could use redstone uh, in our cells. Uh, I could uh, I could come up with some really cool. Oh, it sounds like someone's using the new explosive pick or the explosives. Um, ooh, more diamonds. Four diamonds so far. Five diamonds. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I just need a couple more pieces of lapis, and I'll be ready to head to the cell signs. My pick's about halfway done anyway. So what's so fascinating about these uh, prison games? Well, they're addicting. Um, you you reach one milestone in the game, and you're like, oh man, I gotta I gotta get to the next level. Gotta get higher. Gotta get more. Gotta get more. And that's what kind of uh, attracts me to these these prison games. Uh, Titan MC is not the only one that I've actually that I've played on. Uh, it's the one that I play on the most because it's the one that I find most fun. Um, I find that um, a lot of prison servers have really messed up economies because the prices on those servers are so inflated, um, and like the rewards for selling ore and things like that, they're just outrageous. Um, I play on one server where you can sell a stack of diamonds for like a million bucks and you know to 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 rank up it, it costs like you know 180 million or or even more than that like some of the some of the higher ranks cost um, one of them was 20 billion dollars to rank up and uh, that's just crazy you know I, I I really like the economy here on Titan MC because they're numbers that are low enough that you can uh, you don't have to be a mathematician to wrap your head around. Let's go ahead and sell the redstone here. Hey man. Uh, let's see here. Let's get rid of my redstone. All right, and then here my lapis. Um, lapis, and then six extra. I got twenty nine hundred bucks. Oh, plus the diamonds, but I'm not going to sell the diamonds here. I'm going to go take those to the shops that I found in, in the prison. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go sell these diamonds, and um, I will be right back. I am back. And see, here's the problem. Here's a problem with a ton of cells. In, not, not just here on Prison 4, but also on Prison 3. They got a decent price for diamonds. Seller can no longer afford this item. That is so common. $250. I, I'd, rather pay, I'd rather get more than $250 a diamond. Um, 200, I don't think so. Sell diamond, sell diamond. Sell diamond, they're not buying diamonds. So 
Sell diamond, sell diamond. Oh, 300. Seller can no longer afford this item. How typical. How typical. And there goes the money that I do have. Someone is selling me, selling me stuff. See my money tick down? I'm nothing. $60. Um, so now, uh, now I am getting <laughs> giving people the message. Seller can no longer afford this item, and that is unfortunate. What happened? Sale emeralds. Um, I should have maybe I should have paid my rent before I did that. Um, sell diamond three hundred. Oh, here we go. All right, so I just made eighteen hundred. Let's go back and let's go ahead and uh, I got enough to pay my rent um, but I'm good it's 1100 I still have two days 10 hours and 13 minutes so that's good uh, what did they sell me they sold me more iron ore excellent um, oh, I ran out of coal in this one uh, here's a little trick um, a little trick that not everybody knows um, you can throw sticks in and get a little bit out of them. <laughs> I think it does one block, or maybe not even a full block. Oh, it didn't even do a full block. Um, but if I make, like, a stack of sticks. Did this? Do these still work? Oh, yeah, you can use oak wood planks. That still works. Um, you can also use ladders. Or, I thought you could use ladders. I guess not. Um, I've been on servers where you can use ladders. You can. There's a lot of wood things. Trap doors. Can you use trap doors? Yes, you can use trap doors. So uh, in the woodland area, the timberland area, there's some trap doors there that you can get. Uh, looks like each one is good for maybe two blocks of smelting. So that's an easy way to get some fuel for your uh, fuel for your furnace. It's to get those trap doors. Just get stairs. Those go up. Yeah, that went up there. Let me get this ore out of here and see if uh, the ore works. Whoops. Let's see if the stairs burn. Yep, stairs burn. So yeah. Um, let's, let's split those stairs in two and put half of them over here. So yeah, there's other things that you can use for fuel. You don't always have to use coal. Um, I got wood planks. You can use trap doors, you can use wood stairs, wood stairs. So yeah, so in the Timberland area, you know, there's a lot of things there that you can use as alternative fuel sources. You don't have to go and mine coal necessarily. A lot of people find it easier to just get stuff in the Timberland area, like the trap doors and the stairs and things like that. You can use that as fuel. You don't have to go get, go get the coal. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go mine for a little bit in the uh, wise guy mine. I'm going to get some diamonds so that I can build up my money. Basically, uh, at this point, I got a shop going. Um, there's not a whole lot of tips and tricks to that, other than um, I am going to record a video where I walk around pretty much the whole server, and I visit uh, a lot of the cells, and I'm just going to kind of give you my input on each of the cells as I go into them about prices. Um, I'll try to hit up some signs to see who's got money, who doesn't. So anyway, it'll be another. That'll be the next. The next episode, we're gonna walk around and uh, kind of, kind of explore the prison, see what's available, and um, I'm gonna go visit the wise guy mine and uh, mine some diamonds for a little bit, so that I can get up enough money to begin ranking up, so that I can get up to E1, so that I have the speed, the speed boost, and haste, so that I can mine a lot faster. So anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Um, keep watching. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please, 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 please ask me questions so that I can address them in the videos. If you have questions about uh, how to play or how to do something on Titan MC Prison, just let me know and I will be glad to answer your questions in the videos. Okay? Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat this steak. Yum. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.